We're in Acts chapter 10, and it's a story of really featuring two people, a Roman centurion named Cornelius and Peter, one of the leaders of the church. Peter's down in Joppa, and just down the road a ways is Caesarea, where Cornelius, this Roman centurion, lives. He's a godly man, he loves God, but he's not a Christian. And so God gives him a vision, Cornelius, that a man's gonna come and is gonna share with him about the true meaning of faith in God. And then God gives Peter this vision on top of a roof of telling him to eat these animals that he knows are unclean. And he says, no, Lord, I, I, I can't do this. And he says, the Lord does to Peter. Don't call unclean what I call clean. And then Cornelius sends someone to Peter and Peter goes down to his house, shares the message of Christ with them and the Holy Spirit falls upon them. There's several things you see in Acts chapter 10. Number one, God is moving, he's reaching out, not just to the Jews, but also to the Gentiles. But you also see this, as God deals with one person, he deals with another person at the same time. God goes before us, he's behind us, and he leads in miraculous ways. And once again, we see that God loves the world, the Gentiles, the Jews, the Romans. God came and gives his message to every person, and he does it in miraculous ways. He'll do it through you, he'll do it through me. God's no respecter of persons. Thank you.